So here we have the uh, Tangem. Uh, Vivid, uh, here's the little label. Let's open her up and see what we got. The good people at Tangem were very gracious to send me this wallet. I think it's really cool. Um, and let's see what we got here. Oh, that's, that's nice. So I didn't realize that you got all three colors. I thought that you, like you chose which color you got. Like and if you chose yellow, you would get all yellow. And if you chose blue, you would get three uh, blue cards. But in this case, they've given you three different cards uh, that are three different colors. Now, um, you might wonder, oh, well, which one am I going to use as my go-to and which one are going to be the backup? Um, it doesn't matter. The cards are interchangeable once you have them all set up. Um, they're basically interchangeable. Uh, so let's go into our Tangem app over here. And basically what we want to do is set up a brand new wallet. Now I've already, I'm already managing a couple of different wallets here. There's not much going on in these, but uh, you can add multiple wallet sets to the Tangem app. All right, so if we want to add a new wallet, we'll just tap these three dots up in the right corner. You can see that it shows my existing wallet sets here in the settings. So we're just going to add a new wallet. Uh, remember that each set is considered one wallet, right? Let's hit add new wallet and then we'll just bring one of the cards up to the back of the phone. All right, so um, I'm going to use these devices as originally intended, which is to generate the private key. Uh, privately on the card. I'm not going to do a, a, a seed phrase backup. I'm going to let the cards manage the seed phrase completely. Uh, that would be in, if you wanted to do a seed phrase, you could go into other options there and then you could use a seed phrase. But the reason I'm not going to do that is because of the way the cards are designed to keep the private key private, uh, the private key never leaves the card. And when you generate a seed phrase, you will actually see the seed phrase on your phone. And that's really not a secure way to generate a seed phrase. You should do those on the device. So I want to achieve maximum security here uh, using the Tantrum card as it was designed and have the private key generated completely offline on the wallet and not show me the backup phrase on my insecure phone, right? So let's do create wallet. We're going to scan the card again, and boom, we've generated a completely safe and secure seed phrase only on our card. Not, it's not revealed to us. It's not um, sent to the phone or anything like that, right? Totally safe and secure on the card. Now I need to add the backup cards. So uh, we'll go ahead, and it doesn't matter which one we start with. All right, we've got one backup card added, and then let's add the, the last card here. All right, and there we go. We got two backups added. Let's hit finalize backup. And uh, we're going to create an access code. This is a security feature. Uh, it's like a, a pin. So uh, we'll go ahead and create that. This can be a word, phrase, uh, or whatever you desire, right? You can use a couple of numbers if you want to, or you can use a more complicated password. Keep in mind that you will need to enter this every time you um, use the app. You can also simplify this by allowing um, biometrics as well. Um, but if the biometrics fail, you will need to enter this. So. Uh, make it complicated, but don't make it so complicated that it will raise the difficulty level of using this wallet. You want this wallet to be um, secure and convenient, right? You don't want it to be so secure that you'll decide never to use it because it's too complicated, right? So um, find a good balance for you. All right, and then you'll just need to re-enter it. All right, and then to confirm everything, you'll need to scan the primary card again. You'll tap scan. You'll notice a little timer there. Make sure you hold the card there. 
during the entire 15 seconds. All right, and then you're done. You'll need to scan backup card number one again. If you get confused, the app will remember if you scanned well, the orange, the yellow one first, it doesn't matter. The card will, it will tell you that if you've got the wrong card. All right, now once backup card two, so we'll hit scan backup card two. And we're done. And we've successfully set up the wallet. And there we go. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, toggle between your wallets. You can do that. I have several card sets that I've set up in the past. Uh, notice that each wallet set will have its picture there so you can tell them apart. All right, this is one of the old cards. Um, this is my Caspa commemorative card set. And this is my Vivid card set. Notice they've just got a couple of cryptos set up here. We can set up new cryptos uh, by hitting Manage Tokens. So we can add Solana if we want to. Solana Main, we'll just toggle that on. And then we'll uh, hold the card there. All right. Now these cards are interchangeable. If you lose one, you can just pick up where you left off using the other one. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, all of your crypto is backed up on these three cards. Those are the only backups you have. Um, you could add the seed phrase and then you can write that down in lots of different places. But as I mentioned, I chose not to use the seed phrase to use the cards as intended for maximum security. Um, I'm going to add one more um, token. I'm going to go ahead and add jam token on this one. It didn't ask me to bring the card back on that one, right? All right, so now if you want, you can uh, put your other two cards away, hide them somewhere safe, maybe in separate locations, uh, in case anything happens to your go-to card. All right, these cards are guaranteed for 25 years, um, so uh, you can definitely rely on these cards to keep your crypto safe and secure. So let's go ahead and fund the wallet. Uh, funding the wallet's pretty easy. Uh, basically, uh, we want to do receive, and then I'm going to share this with myself. So that I will have access to it from my desktop. All right. And I'll do the same thing with my Solana. I'll do a receive and share and just email that to myself so I will have access to it from my desktop. Now uh, I'll go ahead and send some crypto into this wallet. All right, you see that there's some crypto in my Kraken account and uh, I just need to send that over. If you remember, I sent those addresses to myself. All right, this is my Bitcoin address of my Tangem card. I'll go ahead and go into my portfolio and I will withdraw the Bitcoin from Kraken. Now I have some existing addresses, but this is a new wallet, so I'm going to add a new one. I'll call this one Tangent Vivid and then I'll paste in that address. I'll hit add withdrawal address, and then I'll confirm that through email. All right, there's the Kraken confirmation email. I'll click confirm. All right, and then in my withdrawal addresses, I've got my uh, Tangent Vivid now. All right, I'll go ahead and withdraw the Bitcoin from Kraken to my Tangent card. And that's done. 
And I'll go ahead and do the Solana. All right, I just got a confirmation on the withdrawal. There's my Solana address. I can go to the home and do a withdraw. And this time we'll choose Solana. And uh, this is a brand new wallet, so I'm going to manage addresses, add a new withdrawal address. I'll call this one Tangent Vivid. And I think I need to give it a, a unique name. Let's see if it'll let me do this. Okay, it let me use the same name because it was a different crypto. All right, we'll confirm that. All right, and then we can uh, refresh here. Now I can withdraw my Solana to my Tangent Vivid address, and I'll go ahead and send all of that. We'll hit Withdrawal, withdrawal Sol. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and withdraw that. And there we go. Now we can go back over to our Tangent wallet and confirm that everything came in. It will take a few minutes. Uh, Bitcoin usually takes uh, 20 to 40 minutes, sometimes um, right away, sometimes it takes longer. Solana usually doesn't take that long. While we're waiting for those, we can uh, do another way of funding from a different uh, cryptocurrency exchange I'll use a phone app for this one so we don't have to email the address to ourselves in this case uh, so let's go ahead and get the address we're going to use GeoJam we'll do a receive we'll uh, copy the address into our clipboard this time and this time I'll go to uphold <laughs> Uphold also knows I'm trying to share the screen, so I will stop doing that. <laughs> okay, security. All right, doesn't like my mirroring, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll go over to Uphold. We'll go to Uphold, we'll hit Transact. We'll uh, select our source as our jam. That will select our destination. We want to make sure we use crypto networks and not cryptocurrencies. This will just create another account in your uphold. We're trying to withdraw, so we need the network, right? We'll hit uh, network here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do max. And then I'll hit preview withdraw. And now it wants the address that I had in my clipboard. That's the address that I copied from Tangem. We'll hit next here. And we've got everything lined up. We'll go ahead and confirm that. It's going to ask us a few questions. Uh, we need to tell it what we're doing here. I'm moving funds to my wallet. All right, they're going to caution me again. I am doing this on my own free will. We'll hit continue. All right, and then I'll need my two-factor, which I have over here. Tap that. I can copy that into my clipboard and then paste it in here and confirm alrighty and that's processing out off it goes now we can go back over to our Tangem and Tangem app and sort of monitor all of these incoming transactions all right it looks like the Solana has come in and the GeoJam it came in really quick Good stuff. Uh, all I just need to, I'm just waiting on the Bitcoin, which I, I mentioned usually takes a little bit longer to confirm on the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, and then we can confirm that as well. All right, so the Bitcoin has also hit the wallet. So we've uh, set up the Tangem card set and funded it with cryptocurrency from a couple of different sources. I should also add that you are able to use Tangem to make purchases directly. So if we go into Bitcoin, uh, we can do a buy. Uh, this uses the uh, Mercurio exchange, right? So you'll notice that I already had my exchanges set up and I simply did transfers. You might find it easier to use the um, 
the third parties that they partnered with uh, so that you can make your purchases from directly within the Tangem interface. Uh, you are not buying this crypto from Tangem. You are buying it from this third party exchange, Mercurio. And you will have to go through accounts set up and provide your ID and all the information necessary to make this purchase. So um, I already had my Kraken account and my Uphold account set up. Um, and I'm comfortable with using those. But uh, they do have this option if you want to use Mercurio. Also, you can do swaps. Uh, you can uh, swap cryptocurrencies within your wallet using Changely. Uh, this is a uh, centralized exchange, but when you do it this way, you won't really need to provide any in, uh, personal information you can just uh, do the swap from within uh, your wallet. All right, so there are uh, built-in options that make it slightly simpler, but really you're using third-party exchanges under the hood, um, so you should be aware of that, right? But none of these options are actually Tangem itself, right? You're not buying or swapping crypto uh, directly on your in your wallets, right? Your wallets have no liquidity or market makers or anything like that. So that's why you need third parties. Okay, so I wanted to do an example of sending out from the wallet. We would go to an exchange and get a receiving address from the exchange. Uh, I'm going to do Solana. So we get the sending address from the exchange. We go back to our wallet. We're going to go into the Solana account and do a send. All right, we'll paste in that address we got from Coinbase. That's our destination. We'll click Next. And we'll send a small amount of our Solana out from the wallet. And then in order to complete the transaction, we're going to need to scan our card. We'll hit send, and then we'll bring the card up to the back of the phone to authorize the outgoing transaction. That is the security, the card there. And then you can see that the transaction has come into my Coinbase account. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I will do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.